My name is uh, Jim Greenblatt. I'm a child and adolescent psychiatrist, and I've been practicing for uh, 33 years. I've been involved in the integrative and functional medicine world um, for many years, and I've had a traditional psychiatric practice as well as a functional medicine practice. And at this point in, in my uh, program and training and teaching is um, testing. Functional medicine testing is a critical component of every psychiatric patient that we see. Along the functional medicine testing, some of the um, core uh, tests for our practice include amino acids, essential fatty acids, trace minerals, and the organic acid test. The, the brain is connected to the body by a neck and it has to understand how to integrate medicine into mental health treatment. Uh, the organic acid test is uh, a fascinating test because it uh, just tests uh, metabolites. I think there's 77, 78 metabolites um, that help us see a uh, window into the metabolism. And there are so many uh, critical factors, but there are a few that I really think are transformative to understand for every uh, mental health professional. Well, again, with 77 markers, um, it looks at uh, nutritional deficiencies, metabolic, as well as the most important that I utilize are the markers for uh, dysbiosis, the abnormal uh, flora in the gut and uh, research has dramatically exploded about how those uh, dysbiosis in the gut affects brain function. So there's uh, yeast markers that are critically important to understand, but the most important for my practice for over 20 years now has been a metabolite of clostridia called the HPHPA marker on the um, O test. The whole core point of functional medicine is every patient's different. So psychiatric patients, are not always um, uh, relieved of their symptoms with our current model of psychiatric medications. And if we do this deeper dive into testing, there's a percentage that have significant abnormalities and we can reverse their symptoms. So in our experience, we actually did a study on this HPHPA marker and out of uh, 100 patients, about 15% had this elevation and this uh, dysbiosis in the gut. And when that's treated, their psychiatric symptoms resolve, or certainly all of them improve. Uh, it's really simple, and I'll come back to the marker that is the most important, is the HPHPA. So there are many other companies now that are doing the organic acid test, and I've looked at all of them, and patients bring these reports in, and I can emphatically say that you do not pick up HPHPA as a marker. And that, I think, is one of the five most important tests to transform the field of psychiatry. So it's a test been used in over 20 years, so I'm comfortable with it. I understand the markers that are relevant and some that are essential. And the other organic acid tests do not pick up the HPHPA marker. And I have many examples of patients who've had other organic acid tests where I had to repeat it to get an HPHPA a measurement. We look at testing for all of our patients. That's our recommendation. Uh, but there are some patients that um, it would be very hard to recommend any treatment without testing, particularly looking at some of this dysbiosis in the gut. And these are patients that have had side effects to medications. These are patients that have intense irritability and anxiety. Again, not as responsive to medications because the biochemistry of this HPHP marker uh, disrupts a lot of the neurotransmitter metabolism that uh, inhibits the proper uh, use of many of these medications.